Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October messages. This is going to be general, so I'm going to be using the Ghost Tarot. I will be clarifying with um, the Zombie Tarot and the Halloween Tarot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I am a demon. As all Aries demons. All right, let's see. What messages are coming out for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, first card we have is the star. Feeling very hopeful. Mm-hmm. You are hoping that October is going to be a great month. I feel like it's going to be full of creativity, love, passion, the supernatural. So it's kind of like you had your eyes set on something or someone. And you're feeling hopeful that October will be the month to, to achieve a certain person, a prize winning. You will be getting a prize here, like something that you've been hoping for, wishing for. It's yours to keep, baby. All right, then we have the Page of Cups. Ooh, this could be a, an innocent offer of love, okay? Maybe from the person that you've been waiting for or hoping to be single. Mmm, pretty interesting. Ooh, we have the Two of Hazards. So to me, this is like, hmm, it's kind of like you bewitched somebody and it's kind of like you have them on a leash controlling them, not controlling them, but it's kind of like that. You see that how he's on a chain, but he's smiling and he, he's liking it. It's kind of like this. I put a spell on you and now you're mine type of shit, right? The Bachelorette offering you the love. <laughs> Who knows? Like I said, you've got your eye on somebody, whatever it is, the prize, and it's going to be yours. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you ha you're you saying, I have you on a, a, a small leash, but in a way where you both like it. Kind of, It's kind of kinky in a way. Hmm. Interesting. Kinky, kinky. Five of Hazards, which is the Five of Pentacles. Remember, with the Two of Hazards, okay, it could be that somebody could be juggling you or you're finding time to multitask or, you know, you're a hard worker and stuff like that. And finally, you have time to play with your significant other or with a specific person. So with the five of pentacles, which is the five of hazards, feeling you, you know, like you were left out in the cold. I feel like as soon as you reach this right here, or if you have been, and you just let go and you're like, I give up, blah, blah, blah. Suddenly this happens. The star. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like surrendering, right? <sighs> Crazy how it works. So whenever you feel that way and you let go and you surrender, that's when the good things start to happen. I know. Crazy, right? So let's pull some of the um, ghost tarot. The hangman. Seeing things from a different point of view. You are now seeing, I feel like if you're dealing with either a Pisces or another Aries or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, it could be, well, actually Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be that, well, ignore the signs, fuck it, okay? Then you're gonna be like, oh, it doesn't resonate because of the signs. I don't like to say signs, I, it's just what I see. So it's kind of like you are seeing things from a different point of view and you're like, ah, Maybe they are for me, or maybe this is for me. 
and you had to come to a pause or whatever it was that caused you, you know, the five of hazards with the hangman here, this had to happen or else the star wouldn't have came, right? So let's pull some more. It was like a necessary pause for you to see things for what it truly is. And it's kind of like you're, you're feeling with the Page of Cups, like that little tingly feeling in your chest where you're like, what is this? Okay, maybe I do have feelings for them or something like that. Or maybe this is for me. You'll, you'll just feel it in your chest. You'll know. You'll know. Ooh, and then we have the Five of Wands. You see that? Look at all them people fighting. Mmm. We have two fives. Five of hazards, five of wands. Okay? Maybe you get in a fight with someone. Maybe you're with, let's say you're with the karmic, the person you're not supposed to be with or meant to be with. You guys get in a fight. They kick you out. You kick them out. You're no longer with them. Mm-hmm. A fight happens. And all, all of a sudden when that happens and you're just like, man, maybe... Maybe love's not on my side or anything like that, or I'm not meant for this job or this position. And all of a sudden, boom, the star card ha happens. You know, someone suddenly uh, appears to start revealing certain things that they never revealed before. And it kind of gives you hope, especially with that star card here. Okay, we have the Hierophant reversed. This is someone getting out of com a commitment. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Getting out of a commitment, okay? Like I said, Hierophant reverse, the hangman with the five of wands. Someone's either leaving someone for someone else, they get left out, or they found out they were juggling more than one person with the two of hazards. Mm. Interesting. Seven of wands reversed. You no longer have to fight for what you believe in, okay? I feel like this month you are just like doing what you want. You're not giving a shit what people say. You, you feel like you don't need to, um, you don't have to explain your beliefs or explain anything to anybody in regards to your love or how you want to live or how you want to do things. You're blocking that out. You're blocking the negative energies around you because this month you want to start, you want to feel, because you're seeing things from a different perspective, you are seeing things like, it's all about you. It's all about Aries. I am that I am. Aries. I am Aries. I put me first, right? And people like to demonize us because I'm an Aries. People like to demonize you because of your um, scapegoat type of uh, scenario or ways of doing things because you're, you're a lone wolf. You're a lone goat. So... And you succeed better that way. You don't work well with others or a lot of people. You work well by yourself. You get things done. You succeed better. You get to the top by yourself. You don't need anybody, right? Okay, then we have the Knave of Pentacles. See, this is kind of like you've been wanting to get an offer from someone or you want to come forward to get that offer. You see that? This is like telling someone I'm single again. Let's get together and let's get it on. No, <laughs> I have Marvin, Marvin Gaye in my head, so. It's kind of like you're saying, okay, I'm single. I have time now. Or here's this offer. I want to get, let's get this popping again. Um, you make me feel good. I finally see things for what it is. You see that just flew out. What is this? Oh, <gasps> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's the lovers, you see? See things for what it is. This is a decision, a choice. You're deciding whether or not you're, 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 you think you're ready to go out there again. After a breakup or leaving a situation, okay, you're feeling hopeful again because either somebody returns, either a Gemini, or it could be that you are you had your eye on somebody the whole time and you, no matter what, whether you're worth a karmic or any situation, this person always gave you hope because it's kind of like your other half your soulmate, your, could be a twin flame. And you find yourself always fighting with karmics or fighting with a job or a position or whatever that you're not meant to be in. So those things have to happen in order for you to get you on the right path. Okay, so now you're seeing that. You're seeing things for what it is, especially with the hangman here. Okay, 
and you're starting to understand things a little bit more better. Let's get a few more clarifiers with the Halloween Oracle. So I feel like this month of October, October, you're going to be breaking free from the shit that's like weighing you down, that's causing you burdens, that doesn't resonate with you, that does not go with your flow of go-getter. Number one, uh, put me first. Don't work well with others. You're seeing that now. Not having to explain yourself to anybody for what you believe in, for what you want, for who you want. Whether that's bring, and if people have a problem with it, with the five of wands and with the seven of wands reversed, it's kind of like you're blocking that shit out. You're like, no drama, please. No drama or I will cut you out of my life forever or for a long time to teach you a goddamn lesson. <laughs> right? Okay. We have the page of imps reversed, which is the page of wands reversed. Okay. Then they don't. They don't resonate with what you're doing, okay? They don't see what you see. So those people drain you of your energy and you're seeing that now. You're learning more about energy, about how people affect you when, you know, they walk into the room and they're a certain way and you're feeling good and vibrating and they come at you like a certain way and you're just like, uh, stay in your negative bubble. Don't bring that shit to me. It's kind of like you're like, stay away, you know? So you kind of want to be in the king of pumpkins this month where you're focusing on you, your goals, your prize, focusing on what makes you happy and not what anybody else thinks. Who gives a fuck if they have a problem with it, right? Only you know what you want. Only you see the big picture. Nobody else can see the vision that you do. And you're realizing that now. So I'm going to pull an oracle from the Halloween oracle. Give me a card for Aries, please, for the month of October. Aries for the month of October. Wow, we have the death card. The eternal cycle begins here. Mm. You see that? A whole new you, Aries. It's like you're coming back from the dead. You're resurrecting. Mm-hmm. Letting go of the old belief systems, the old you, the old people, you know, from the past that has been around you for a long time and has been draining you of your energy or hasn't been motivating you or been on, you know, pushing you to do better, better with your career, your, your creative side. This death card here, it's kind of like the eternal cycle of Aries begins here. You begin here. You're resurrecting because of the hangman, that pause that you had. You're seeing things differently now. And that, my friend, brings the star card. Okay? Mm-hmm. You are the star of the show, baby. <laughs> All right, Aries, this was your message for the month of October. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in your next video.